So this these are this is a work meeting and it's an opportunity, it's the best opportunity that I feel like I have to just address this body and just talk to y'all, which is what I'd like to do for just a few minutes. And I'll start out by asking if, if any of you, have you read The Boys in the Boat? Have you, has anybody read that book? It's a wonderful book. You should take an opportunity to read it. But basically, it's about a team of athletes that competed in the 1936 Olympics in Berlin, in Nazi Germany. Robo. Um, they were the underdogs from the very beginning. They were, it was an uphill battle the whole way. But the point is, is they worked together and they figured out the weaknesses and the strengths of each other. And they compiled a team that won the World Olympics in Berlin. And it's just an amazing story. And, and I'm, when I think about that, I think about us as a commission and the team that we have here. We have folks that have different strengths and different weaknesses. But we can figure that out and collectively working together, we can make a lot of stuff happen by working together. The counties that make things happen, it's the ones that work together to get things done, period. If we're bickering or fighting, and I'm not saying we are, I'm tickled, I'm so tickled with everybody that's on this commission. But I just know that by working together, we can accomplish a lot, and that's what I want to do. We went to the, all of the, the new folks, and myself went to the CTAS orientation, and they correctly pointed out the limitations of their job. I mean, I have many limitations that most of you all out there probably are not aware of, and the commissioners have their limitations as well. That's not necessarily you know, a bad thing. And, and, you know, and that while those limitations are true in their core sense, that does not keep us from working together and being able to accomplish a lot of things. It just means that we have checks and balances in place and that we all need to do our jobs. And again, once again, we can complement each other and, and get a lot done. So, <clears throat> We're being tasked for, for looking out for the people of this county. Um, they elected us, all of us, to serve them. And they're asking us to represent them and, and to do the work that needs to be done. They're entrusting that upon us. And it's not something for us to take lightly, and I know that you don't. In my campaign, I, I canvassed this county back and forth from one end to the other, and I talked to an incredible amount of people. And more than talking to the people, I, I listened to what they had to say. And there were several items, I, I wrote some down, there's, there's six items that were really what I heard resounding over and over and over again in this county. And I'd, like, I'd just like to share those with you. Um, these are not necessarily in order, but w one of the main things that the people I talk to in the county is that they want a cleaner, more presentable county. I'm not going to say tonight how we accomplish that. What I'm encouraging us to do, all of us, is to just think about these items and in the days and weeks and months and years to come, let's figure out how we can give these people what they actually want from us. They want a cleaner and more presentable county. I would like to point out to some of these items that I'm talking about, look, I've said this, we're not throwing anybody under the bus whatsoever. I'm just repeating what people have said to me they don't know, I don't know, we don't know what some of the handicaps are, or what the issues that we're facing to be able to work on these things. So the, the next thing is they want better roads. I heard that over and over and over again. It's kind of an unfair thing because, you know, the flood that we had a year ago was devastating to so many of our county roads. So I'm not singling anybody out here. What I would say 
is what can we do collectively to figure out how we can help Mr. Woods and how we can help our road crews give the citizens of our county what they want. Whatever those holdups are, let's communicate, let's figure it out and work it out. They want strategic growth. They want business, they want industry, jobs, and recreation. Not everybody, now don't get me wrong, a lot of people have their own ideas. This is not this is not one shoe fits all, but I'm saying I heard this over and over and over again, and it didn't matter if I was east in McEwen or out at Husburg, the people, this is important to them, and they're looking for us to figure out how to make that happen. They want good schools. Again, a lot of these things are, are emotional and people are passionate right now because of the damage and, and the suffering that everyone's gone through. You know, it brings things to a cusp and, and, and I get that. And so maybe they're talking about this more than they should be, but and nothing against what everybody and anybody's doing, none whatsoever, but that's important to the people in our county. This one might surprise you. There's a whole lot of folks that think we need something for kids to do. I heard it over and over and over again. They want something for their kids to do. Healthy, fun things for kids to do. It's what they want, we should think about it. And last, and, and certainly not least, what can we do about the flooding? Once again, you know, people are passionate and emotional about that, and a lot of folks have their own ideas on what to do about it. I'm saying it's important to the people in this county, and uh, we should keep it in our thoughts and, and see what we can do. In my campaign, I, I've, I promised two things in my entire campaign. One, I committed to doing a town hall meeting, at least semi-annually, to just let the public sit down and ask me whatever questions they want to ask me, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. The second thing was I promised turkey at Thanksgiving and ham at Christmas for the Senior Center, just in McEwen, but I might could be talked into working with the other ones as well. But those, those were the, the two promises I made. Other than that, I told everyone that I'll, I'll work hard and I'll do the best that I can do. And I know that you all will too. And I'm gonna end this with a little something that just seems so appropriate. And this is Romans chapter eight, number 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Y'all wouldn't be here if you didn't feel that way, and I know that. And that's what we're gonna do. I appreciate your time, Mr. Chairman and the body. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.